All right, so welcome to the KIT Unit 2 specimen paper video for the new syllabus that would have been made active in 2022. This syllabus is from 2021, more than likely will probably last about five to 10 years. And I'm going to go through this um, past paper in a different way because it's a specimen paper and they have actual answers for the specimen paper. I'm going to do my answers and then compare them with their answers and see if we find any inconsistencies and then try to point out things. Um, it's not a bash against CXE, but sometimes the things that they have in their specimen paper, they are a little bit shaky, especially when they do multiple choice. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that we understand what the syllabus requires, what types of answers that they're looking for for the questions, and how your answer may not always line up with the answer that they want, but you should be able to kind of get the key points in. So let's go into the paper and pay attention to how the answers are given in their answer sheet and pay attention to how I try to answer them and how you will most likely have to think through them while they answer them. So let's go. Now we're on to module three where you have to read a lot. I mean, where you have to write a lot. And where the answers are so vague, you're really not too sure what they want. I mean, where the questions are so vague, you're not too sure what they want. All right, so they start us off with cyber terrorism. It's one of the criminal activities aided by computer systems. Identify three other types of computer crimes that are likely to occur in a school or university. Oh, cyber terrorism is the first one they have. So we want to give um, computer crimes that are likely to occur in a school or university. Um... <laughs> Either school or university, you might have um, fraud, computer fraud. You might have hacking, and you might have in a university boy. What else you have? Fishing? No. School or university? What else do they do in a school or university? That's bad. Identity theft? Would you steal the identity of another student? No. Sabotage. I guess we could go with it. Sabotage. I guess. Two strategies that will be implemented to prevent computer crime. Six marks stuff. Six marks. Why? There's a lot of writing to discuss those two strategies to implement to prevent computer crimes. But let's start. Let's start. To prevent discuss two strategies that may be implemented to prevent computer crimes okay we are to look for the mark we are to look for the answers that are going to be able to give you six easy marks we could just be like all right cool i know exactly what my points are i know exactly how i'm going to say it so let's put user authentication no let's not put user authentication let's put cyber crimes okay first thing is a firewall right a firewall a firewall should be put in to stop the unauthorized access, stop unauthorized access to the school's um, computer systems. Um, it should only allow access to verified connections from known computers. All right, that's a that's a three mark answer there. That's a three mark answer there. Sounds good. Sounds good. Then go for um to prevent computer crimes. To prevent computer crimes. You see, they're not just talking about viruses, they're talking about preventing computer crimes. All right, so we'll have to have um, access control. Access control. The username and password policy should be very strict so that the users of the system would not be susceptible to their accounts being hijacked or 
of stolen and use for harm or bad stuff yeah harm or bad stuff that's that that's that's it there yeah okay we'll go with that we'll see what they have in the harm answers we ain't finished this question yet jeez in order to protect the private information of all employees, the Human Resources Department of the organization has created a policy that for its employees to follow when handling private information. Align two privacy protection guidelines that the policy may contain. I hate these policy questions. You know why? Because the syllabus just has something policy, something else policy. But it takes a lot to do a policy, you know? and there's a lot of things that you could do inside a policy. But Outline two privacy protection guidelines that this policy may contain. We want to protect the private information of all employees. Human resource. Okay. For Max, let's go with encryption first. Encryption. All the data being stored on the employees must be encrypted. So even if it is stolen, it cannot be read. That's one. Two. In order to protect the private information of all employees, what is something that's important that we need to do to protect the private information of all the employees? If they give you the data, data you need to encrypt the data. You also want to make sure that the data isn't lost. All right, so you have to have backups. To ensure the data is not lost or misplaced the should be a um what's called this word by offsite offsite backup which would give some sort of redundancy I'll take that. That's four marks. This question ain't finished yet. Now they have something for two marks with about ten lines to write. State two ways in which information technology has impacted education in the last five years. State, they say. But you have all of this space. Alright, let's put ease of access. Um, because of the internet. And more use of multimedia to teach concepts all right now for the moment of truth let's go and see what they have to say i doubt there's anything too complicated that they have to say so the first one hacking spamming phishing at you see phishing is accepted here phishing in our university is acceptable they do have identity theft they do have spamming what did we put we put um fraud computer fraud hacking and sabotage yeah, I think that'll be okay. Though all those are things that could happen. Yeah. Secure the computer. With, use antivirus tools. Communicate securely. Use encryption. Do not share private data. Use physical security for computers. Alright, cool. We good there. Firewall and access control. Should be good. B. Disclosure of private information. Do not disclose private information to anybody. Sharing of private information. Authorization of access. Protection of private data or private personal should be stored securely and protected from authorized access at all times. They do have backups though. Why don't they have backups? Protect any private information. Protect any private information. Yeah, they do have back backups. Do backups really protect the private information? I'm thinking. Maybe they might be onto something. Backups is how we cancel. Yeah, backups is how we cancel. But it's almost like the same thing. Alright. We'll change our want to share enough information. What they have done here now, two ways information technology, ease of access, free courses, new method of learning, social learning. Yeah, yeah. But it's very weird that his two marks, they said states, but they have suitable explanation of impact on education, one mark each. So you have to not just state, you have to give an impact, which is, yeah. All right. When they say state and they give it 10 lines, use the 10 lines. That's just, that's just the sad reality of life. So I'll take off backups here. Um, for backups, I'll put um access control list. Yeah, let's put access control list. 
some of the pretty tremendous of the people who are allowed access to view or change the data. All right, I'll take that. And then for this year, ease of access because of the internet, that's clear. Use of multimedia to teach concepts in new and different ways. Okay, cool. Distinguish between a copyright and a pat uh, patent. Okay, a copyright is a non transferable right to um, sell. Oh, is it non transferable? No, no. Sell or distribute a creative work. Yeah. A patent or patent is a right to an invention or method of completing a task. Yeah. Using an example, illustrate one form of plagiarism. Plagiarism would be copying more, no, no, placing a quote from a book into a research paper. Placing a quote from a book into a research paper without citing the original author. Cool. Using your example in part two above, explain the implications of plagiarism. Um, it is lying and taking credit. Credit? Why did I put that? Credit for something that is not your original idea. Yeah, that sounds good. I can't see the, I can't see them not giving you two marks for that. All right. Consumers should be aware of the security, health and safety and environmental risks associated with computer use. Identify two environmental risks associated with computer use. That would be um, environmental risks, um, soil pollution. Like how does it identify here? And here they say state. Okay. Identify, I'll just identify soil pollution and... Um, waste, I can't put e-waste, environmental risk. What's the other one? What's that environmental risk? They can't put e-waste, soil pollution, because the chemicals from the, the chemicals from the circuit boards, yeah, you know, how to put due to the electricity usage to make sure it's sold properly. So they can't say no. Day three health and safety risks associated with extensive computer use. Three marks. Now they say states. All right. RSI, repetitive strain injuries. Repetitive strain injuries that affect joints. Carpal tunnel syndrome affects the nerves in the hands. And um, computer vision syndrome affects the eyes when looking at screens for too long. Yeah, there are probably others. <sighs> almost there, almost there. Last one, last one. Describe two data production mechanisms that the company would use to secure its information assets when communicating over a network. Encryption. Encryption would make the data understandable to only the sender and the receiver. Um, Usernames and passwords would um, ensure that the data can only be accessed when the correct username and password is used. Alright, that looks like it there. Let's see what they said to round it off. 
they said copyrights protect ideas expressing some tangible form or patterns protect ideas regardless if they're expressing a tangible form or not now that the answer is really lame yeah why they just decide you know copyrights are generally granted automatically while a pattern must be applied for copyright doesn't necessarily make a piece of work monopoly while the pattern generally grants temporary monopoly to the owner hmm. patterns protect the express in a tangible form or not all right i think that yeah i think that they will want this to be clear yeah copyrights are creative works expressing some tangible form all right so i'll put not always tangible um copyright doesn't necessarily write it okay um using an example of straight one form of plagiarism yeah, paraphrasing, feel that's a site incorrect, right? We got that. Part two, implications, poor reputation, legal problems. Oh, I didn't put the implication. I just put that it's taking credit for another. So you could have, I should write that in here. Can lead to legal. Can lead to legal issues. Issues with the original creator all right drop the ball there but see um identify to identify dumping of electronic waste poisoning of exposure from computer poisoning from exposure to electronic waste wow okay we'll take soil pollution and high energy consumption yeah computer addiction carpal tunnel syndrome computer vision syndrome yeah, we have repetitive strains. They didn't put repetitive strain injuries though. They just have addiction, carpal tunnel, and computer vision. But I believe RSIs should be accepted. And then they have encryption. All the data should be encrypted, password protected, use secure channels. Oh, use secure channels, yeah, you can put VPN too. Yeah, VPN is acceptable. All right, there you have it. That is module three. So this is um, what you're up against in the new syllabus. The new syllabus is a lot of writing, a lot of writing. And some of the things that they're asking you to write, they say in state, but they really want you to explain. So be prepared to use up the, the lines. If they give you a lot of lines, then more than likely that's a high indicator that they want you to use a lot of them. So do that. Right, so of course, thanks for watching. You made it to the end. If you're looking for Cape IT classes that you want me to teach, you can check us out at education.makeitsimplett.com and you will see all the different packages that we have for Cape IT classes. And of course, you can always come back to this YouTube channel and there'll always be free videos here to explain different things to you. But if you want dedicated classes that will explain certain things to you and make sure you understand the syllabus inside out, then check us out education.makeitsimplett.com You'll see Cape IT and we have a various um, set of classes from crash courses all the way down to full-on classes with assignments and IA assistance and paper 3 assistance. So you can check that out, um, makeitsimplett.com.